Hey guys, what the heck is going on? We are here with Jackson Earl one more time and this episode of 101 Goat Decks is brought to you by McDonald's. And uh, hashtag, he's been playing this deck. not sponsored. <laughs> he's been playing this deck for the last while. And, it's, been, it's been a good month. Uh, yeah, and uh, we've been wanting to profile this. So, let's go ahead and do this. What is this exactly? Uh, it's trains where you abuse a Dekoichi and uh, both points you to draw extra cards. Okay. Uh, so it's main draw engine three to Koichi. Um, your only issue with this is like knock, uh, in which case they just deck than you because it's a chaos OTK. Deck. But you also play triple magic jammer too, in oh, case like. Yeah, yeah. Well, I played double magic jammer. Yeah. Uh, and then the two book is just because okay. uh, this is set, you normal this, flip, draw two. So just good draw engines. One VLS and triple chaos orc. Chip. Just standard stuff. One Parshath, triple thunder dragon, breaker, DD warrior lady, double tomato, uh, triple shining angel, one Souk, one Sangin, one spirit reaper, one sinister serpent, hot uh, charity, card destruction, upstart goblin, snatch deal, heavy, giant true nade. Uh, book, MST, triple jar of greed, double Sakuretsu armor, and double magic armor. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I <laughs> so mean, no delinquent duo in the main? No delinquent duo. I really don't want to uh, discard my opponent's hand all that much. Why is that? Because uh, by the time like they're at least getting anywhere near your, your amount of resources, you're already killing them. That's true. Because like you yeah, have this deck plus is like crazy. Yeah, like, you'll have like uh, at least ten cards in hand by the, your third turn. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about it? Because I know that was kind of a brief description. Yeah, it's uh, Go Control and Pixie Control are probably its best matchups. Beast Down is really difficult, but you have to just play properly. And then uh, there's a couple other decks that's just like, okay, it's zombies can't compete with it because it's just too fast for them. And even if they like get hit cards out of your deck, then you're just plussing off that anyway. Yeah. So it's not really a big deal. And with, with the Boko Witches too, it's not like the theory behind it is like if it's on the field. When you activate Dekoichi, like, even if that Bokoichi is used for, like, whatever, you know what I mean? You still mm -hmm. you still got the card for yeah. it. So like, it's, I'll, uh, I'll either discard it off a of charity if it's, like, dead, or what's, what I found, actually, is whenever I normal summon it, people will automatically assume the Dekoichi and just immediately activate TT, just to, which clears, oh, one, yeah. of, it clears one of their board And if you have, like, so a Sangan set or yeah, something. Yeah, then like they that. don't want to deal with the, the yeah. thing, so. It's a lot of mind games. Yeah. It's, Heck yeah. It's really fun. What's the deck's biggest weakness? Um, BLS and just basically any like heavy hitter chaos monsters because you don't you're like you're not playing Mirror Force and you're not you're only playing two Sakuratsu so heavy hitters uh, really hurt. Yeah, dope. Cool man. All right, see you.